Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this new video in the Sketch for Beginners video series. Today we will be looking at our first design that we are going to create in Sketch. And I want to give you an example of the basics that you will probably need when designing an iOS design. So there are a lot of elements that you will need when you're designing an iOS app because uh, you probably need a status bar, maybe you need a top bar, which is also called a navigation bar. Um, then there are different things like a tab bar right here or right there. Uh, there are different widgets and so on. There are different popovers and there are so many elements and you probably don't want to create all of those by yourself. And what you have to do when you create a new design in Sketch is to, I don't know, get a new artboard, create a, uh, create a new artboard and document. And then you don't have to uh, go and design all by yourself or look on Google for a certain UI kit. But what you can do is to go to insert, then symbols, iOS UI design. And there you will find pretty much anything that you will need when it comes to basic UI components. So we have, for example, as I told you, a uh, navigation bar with a status bar included right there. It's super simple. We simply paste it into our sketch document and there we have it. Now we can work our way through this list right here. We have other bars like a tab bar. Maybe we have four items and it's easy for us to simply uh, align it in that way, you know, so we have those two bars and these will be the basic setting of our UI design. So let's look at other elements because maybe you are designing for an iPhone 10R, then you can simply go and insert your iPhone 10 uh, frames. Maybe you're testing your design uh, when it comes to how it looks on a uh, real device, uh, then you probably want to know how it looks uh, with the notch and so on. You can of course also insert other things that are relevant for the iPhone 10, like the home indicator. Now we have on light. You can simply snap it in, align it, and you have your basic uh, components to test designs on an iPhone 10. It's easy, it's perfect, uh, because we have all those elements in here. But it's also possible to uh, simply go and check out the certain uh, iOS UI kits that are on the web. You will find, for example, this iPad iOS design uh, kit by uh, Create Simple Studio. I will paste down a couple of links to iOS uh, UI kits because, for example, a popover like this that I used in a, in a project just last week uh, isn't available directly in Sketch, but you can simply just download um, the UI kit and then you can simply uh, select your device. Of course, we don't have an iPad right here, but you can simply paste it in there and uh, even customize it. So it's super easy to work with uh, iOS designs in Sketch because we have all those presets and I think there are even more uh, things that we can go and work with. So let me check. Um, I think we have to go and create file and new from template and there we will find iOS app icon template. Now you see that we have a template right here for designing an icon. So it's super easy because if you uh, simply go over here and if you customize this screen right here, for example, with the grid, you will see that it is automatically changing on all those different app icons. So because this one is a symbol um, and then we have new from template. And we have some other cool things here as well, because we have material design, we have uh, Android icon design, and we have uh, web design stuff. If you design for Android and material, of course you want to have the same uh, kind of UI components. And because it's not simply linked in here, we simply go and uh, check the template from file, new from template and material design. And you see on the screen right here that we have simply a whole bunch of different components that you will need for material designs on Android. Um, I think the best example uh, is the floating action button that is probably, I don't know, sitting somewhere like right here. So if I paste it, 
we should be able to see where it's actually located. So yeah, I simply pasted it right here and uh, we can now also grab it and usually it will probably sit inside this uh, screen like right here and we can simply as i said just copy and paste the components uh, onto our own device onto our own artboards and can reuse them we can make symbols what symbols are uh, this is like something i will tell you in a new video in an upcoming video because it's a little bit more complex but i can tell you that if you want to reuse a certain uh, UI component like uh, the popover or the tab bar, you want to use it on different screens. Of course, if you make a single edit, you don't want to do it on every single screen. You just do it once and it's applying to all those different um, screens as I showed you uh, with the artboard of the, of the art.